Hey there, THS. I'm Grayson. And I'm Megan. Welcome to Trenton News Today. Let's get straight to it. We want to thank everyone who recently subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, you can find the link on Trenton Public Schools' website. By subscribing, you can help us reach our new goal of 2,000 followers, subscribers, and help bring more live events to the public. And if you are a THS teacher or staff member, you better subscribe so you can get the latest and greatest from our awesome team. Now, let's go to April with the latest news regarding sports. Well then, hi, I'm April, and today we've got a lot of games going on. We've got varsity baseball, track, varsity tennis. Tomorrow there's a lot of things going on with softball crew, soccer, and all the other sports. So really, if you just check the, the monitors out in the hallway, if you go to trentonathletics.com, you're going to see a whole lot of really great things going on, and hopefully we'll have good weather. Back to you. Thank you, April. Japanese Culture Club will be meeting on Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in Ms. Miali's room. The first meeting is next Thursday, May 6th, and we'd love for anyone interested to join us. All AP exams will begin May 3rd and run through May 20th. History will be the first to test in room C-125. All 11th grade students interested in attending U of M are invited to the Michigan Club of Downriver Information event on Monday, May 3rd at 7 p.m. This event will be held via Zoom due to pandemic restrictions. Speaking will be the Director of Undergraduate Admissions from U of M Ann Arbor and a representative from U of M Dearborn. Sounds like a great opportunity. If you would like to attend, please see Mr. Geo in the Counseling Office for more information. Now on to Marco with the weather. Thank you, Grayson. For the weather today, we will have a high of 57 and a low of 33, as well as mostly sunny weather for the rest of the day. For the weekend, expect warmer temperatures and a bright sun with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. The week after, we have high temps of 50 and low lows of 40. It's going to be going to be pretty gloomy, so watch for precipitation and no overcast. Back to you, Grayson. Thank you, Marco. And we're sure seniors will be happy to hear that we've only got 15 days of school left. That's right, Grayson. But remember, seniors, you're not completely done yet, so hold in tight and keep those grades up until the very end. Also, remember that if you receive an email from the yearbook team, please follow up. They need to hear from you to fill out the pages of their yearbook and capture the memories this year. If you have any questions about the yearbook, please contact Ms. Poma. Now on to some local news. Thank you, Megan. NPR.org states, did you know that an easy chocolate mousse recipe is the perfect way to keep your overripe avocados from getting wasted? That's right. You can make chocolate mousse with some overripe avocados. Not only is food waste bad for your wallet, it's also bad for the planet. Wasted food accounts for up to 10% of human-induced greenhouse gas emissions. With, the ways like this, with ways like this to prevent food waste, we can make this planet a better place to live in. Join our THS book club as well. Need a copy of a book? Visit the THS library catalog. Log in with your student ID as your username and password and place the book on hold. We will email you when it is ready for pickup. Prints and ebooks are also available. Digital Media has crafted a video for you to review. Let's take a look. remember stay to the right that was great and remember all 11th grade students interested in attending u of m are invited to attend michigan club of downriver information and scholarship event on monday may 3rd 2021 at 7 p.m and that concludes the tnt news have a great day everyone as always stay safe out there and remember go blue and vote me and megan class couple